Hello friends, today we will learn about the transport system. We have already learned before that transport means carrying persons or goods from one place to another by a means, maybe by using a bus or a car, etc. Some of you may be coming to school on foot, others may be using the bicycle, scooter, van, bus or train. All these are known as a means of transport. We had also learned that means of transport are classified into three categories, that is land, water and air transport. In this chapter, we will read further about these with reference to India. India has the largest network of roads in the world. Our roads are classified into two types on the basis of its surface as metalled, pakka roads and unmetalled, kacha roads. Metal roads are also called all-weather roads. The Indian roads, on the basis of importance, can also be classified into four kinds, national highways, state highways, district roads and village roads. National highways are the roads that connect the important cities of the country and pass through many states. They are built and maintained by the central government. The Grand Trunk, GT Road or Sher Shah Suri Mark which is also known as the National Highway No. 1, is the longest road in our country. State highways are the roads that connect the district headquarters to the state capital. District roads connect the towns and important places within a district. Village roads link the villages to the town or district roads. State highways, district roads and village roads are built and maintained by the state government. Roads are very important for us. We use roads to carry passengers and goods with the help of various vehicles. They provide doorstep service as well. Most of our village roads are unmetal roads. They are rough and difficult to use in the rainy season. The Indian Railway is called the lifeline of our country and is widely used by the common people. Most of our goods are transported by trains. Steam engines and diesel engines are now being replaced by electric engines, which run faster and do not cause pollution. Express trains run faster than other normal trains. Do you know? The first train in India ran between Mumbai and Thane in 1853. The metro train runs both on elevated as well as underground tracks. It was first introduced in Delhi, but now some of the major cities have also started its service. Water transport is one of the oldest and the cheapest mode of transport. It is commonly used in places which are near rivers and canals. Motor boats and steamers run on the rivers. The lagoons of Kerala are suitable for water transport. Ships sail on the seas. They carry passengers and heavy goods from one part of the country to another. It is very useful for transporting heavy and bulky goods. The ships that carry goods are called cargo ships. Our coastline is very long and has many seaports along the coast. Some of the ports are very big and busy. 1. Kandla, Gujarat 2. Mumbai, Maharashtra 3. Jawaharlal Nehru, Maharashtra 4. Marmagao, Goa 5. New Mangalore, Karnataka 6. Cochin, Kerala 7. Tuti Korin, Tamil Nadu 8. Chennai, Tamil Nadu 9. Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh 10. Paradeep, Odisha 11. Haldia, West Bengal 12. Kolkata, West Bengal Waterways is confined mainly to navigable rivers, canals and backwaters. The Ganga and Brahmaputra are the only two rivers which are used for transportation. Do you know? Kolkata is not on the sea coast. It is on the banks of the river Hugli. It is the most comfortable and fastest mode of travel. As it is costly, the common man cannot use it. We have over 20 international airports and many domestic airports too. An international airport is one from where we can fly to another country. Domestic airlines operate only within the country. Air India is operated by the Indian government. Private airlines like Indigo, Go Air, Spice Jet, etc. are also operating both domestic and international flights. Almost all state capitals have airports. 
we have the following major international airports 1 raja sansi international airport punjab 2 indira gandhi international airport new delhi 3 chhatrapati shivaji international airport mumbai 4 chennai international airport chennai 5 netaji subhash chandra bose international airport kolkata you must have seen helicopters they can land wherever a plane surface is available the ground specially made for helicopters to land is called a helipad these are also a very useful means of air transport for short distances and in hilly areas where road construction railways and airport facilities are not available they also provide help in times of disasters or emergencies like floods drought and other natural on man made calamities amazing fact india has the highest helipad at the siachen glacier in jammu and kashmir at a height of 6400 meters above the sea level let us summarize transport means to take or carry persons or goods from one place to another by some means we use land water and air transport railways are our lifeline Most of our goods are transported by railways. National highways are maintained by the central government and the others by state government. Waterways is the cheapest mode of transport. Heavy goods are transported by this mode. Helicopter service is the most suitable service in hilly regions and is very useful during disasters.